Let's talk about Newton's third law. That is, for every force, there's an equal but opposite reaction force. Let's take, for example, this pen. I will now boldly drop the pen. Why did the pen accelerate? What force was acting on the pen to cause it to accelerate downward? You say gravity. I say correct. And now a little bit harder. What's the reaction force? No, it's not the normal force. First of all, there's nothing, no surface touching the pen. But second of all, the reaction force is the pen pulling the earth upward. The earth pulls the pen down. The pen pulls the earth up. Now, the pen doesn't have enough mass to pull the earth up with any, any measurable effect, but that is the reaction force. Force of gravity goes both ways. Let's, let's take another example. Let's take a car. And let's understand how a car can accelerate. So the car is driving, driving on some ground, and you hit the gas pedal, and the car starts to move forward. It's accelerating. So what's happening? Well, the engine turns the axle, which turns the wheels. The wheels are gripping the road, so the wheels push the road backwards. So the wheels are pushing on the ground in that direction, and the reaction force is for the ground to push on the wheels this way. So when you draw the free body diagram for the car, you have the reaction force, that is the ground pushing on the car this way. And then, of course, you have the normal force and the weight. But you do not include the force on the earth. These guys, the force and the reaction force, they act on different objects. So if the car's wheels push the earth this way, and the earth pushes the, the car this way, well, one is a force on the car, the previous is a force on the earth. Let's take another example. Brad, come on up. Let, let, let's, let's push on each other. Now, Brad is, is much stronger than me, but I will bravely push against him anyway. Okay, on the count of three, we'll push. One, two, three. Thank you, Brad, I think. So I accelerated backwards, clearly. Now my question is, who experienced the greater force, Brad or myself? And the answer is, we felt the same force. Because if Brad pushes on me, well, the reaction force is for me to push back on him. Equal but opposite forces. So we felt the same force due to Newton's third law. I mean, maybe take a simpler example. If I push on the board like this, well, the board pushes back on me with the exact same force. But you might ask yourself, why did I accelerate backwards? Well, that's because Brad has a larger mass than I do. So although it's the same force, let's call it f naught, when I go to calculate acceleration of me, Acceleration is equal to that force with my smaller mass, and therefore, let's draw a largish acceleration. But for Brad, his acceleration will be smaller because his mass is larger. You can see as the denominator gets smaller, this number gets bigger. Denominator gets bigger, this number will get smaller. There's a little intro into Newton's third law.